Good morning, Jennings. Yes, we're in the corner of a room in my house. Jennings is just right up there. I'm sorry I didn't visit today, but I took the time to tape this whiteboard paper to my wall. So, for class this week, you need to be able to improvise in some binary meter, as opposed to ternary. We're just going to focus on binary today. Okay, some binary meters. Meters where the, the beat, the felt beat of the music easily breaks into two parts. That could be a quarter note, a uh, half note, a whole note. We can all build binary meters on those, but for today we're going to focus on meters based on the quarter note. What are some meters based on the quarter note? 4-4. Four, four. Yeah, you thought of that. Another one. Let's just go with those three. 4-4, four, 3-4, four, 2-4. Four, four. I could also write it as just 4 over a quarter note. Do the same thing, right? Okay. Now, we agree that quarter notes are a beat. I'm going to think of my beat like a container, so I'm going to circle it. What are some other rhythms that would fit into the same size circle? Well, that quarter note broken easily into two parts is two eighth notes, so I'll draw that and put a circle around it. I can do the same thing. Breaking each of those notes evenly into two parts gives me four sixteenth notes. I can keep going, eight thirty second notes, 16 64th notes, and continue like that. We're just going to go up to the 16th note level, mixing those types of rhythms to fit the container of a beat. So far I have bum, 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 I can make quite a bit of music with those three rhythms, but I want a few more options for my improvisation today. So what's another way I can mix them up? Okay, you were thinking it. An eighth plus two sixteenths. That fits. How about two sixteenths and an eighth? A mirror of the one we just drew. What about one where I put the eighth note in the middle? Sixteenth, eighth, sixteenth. That looks like that. Remember, all our circles are all equal right now. They look different, but they fit into the container of one B. Anything else? What about dotted eighth, sixteenth? Like tying these three notes together for one sound leaving behind one single sixteenth note. What about that rhythm's mirror? Or this sound plus these three sounds tied together equals this. So that's our whole list. That is what you need to be responsible for for class next, this coming Thursday. Of course, if we had more time, we would do a whole, a, a similar list for ternary. Let's focus on this one today. What if I wanted to break this sound into three even parts? That exists too. You might have been thinking it. It's called a triplet. But I'm not done. I need to label that one. It's special because it's a visitor from this world, ternary. I'm going to label it with a three. Okay, maybe you heard of that triplet. You don't have to use a different color. I just like the smell of the blue marker. Okay. First, I pick a meter. Let's just do 2-4. Two, 2-4 four. Two, four has two big beats in it, or two sways, so I'm going to conduct the downbeat upbeat, and I'm going to sway back and forth. My heels are coming up each time, so I can really feel the space between two. I'm not just knocking back and forth. Ready? One, two, ready, and sing. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, I can keep going like that, but you're not really singing, you're just listening to me do it. Now, I point, you sway and sing. One, two, ready, go.
write these down, you're going to practice this all by yourself. Make the list, point to it as you go. That's what you'll do in class on Thursday. Anything else you want to practice? You're right. I didn't go to the triplet yet. Let's practice going between this just first line. One, two, we're still in two, four. Down, up, here we go. Practice. See you in class.